What's up guys, Trizzle Trey with Triz Tech and Electronics, and in today's video, I'm going to show you what kind of apps and tweaks I currently have on my Samsung Galaxy Note 2. So as you guys know, about a month ago I released a video called What's on My Nexus 4, and it seemed to get a pretty good response. I also did one way back on What's on My Nexus 7. Uh, when I did the Nexus 4 video about a month ago, that was during the review period while it was technically my daily driver, but I was still carrying around my iPhone 5 at the same time because it wasn't on my actual carrier uh, because the Nexus 4 wouldn't work on Verizon. Uh, but for the past month or so, I've been using the Galaxy Note 2 strictly as my daily driver without any other device. And I want to show you guys the applications that I use on a daily basis, just the things that make my life easier uh, with the Galaxy Note 2. Since it is such a big phone or a phablet, if that's what you would like to call it, I want to show you guys what I use on a daily basis. So let's get into it right now. The first application that I use on a daily basis, which actually also made an appearance on the What's on My Nexus 4 video, is Falcon Pro for Twitter. Now this is an absolutely awesome Twitter client, I absolutely love it. It scrolls quickly, there's no glitching, no nothing, uh, you can swipe sideways to check your timeline, your mentions, uh, your DMs, your re uh, all the retweets of any tweets that you've currently done or to check anybody that you are following if they put out a retweet. Uh, you can also check whatever anything that has been favorited uh, as your search and your settings. All if you just swipe to the left, if you swipe to the right, you can check up on anything that you have listed. Uh, you can also check anything that's trending. Uh, any recent searches that you have done on Twitter will also be on there. It's really really handy. I absolutely love this. It's my favorite Android Twitter client. It's not quite to the same quality as Tweetbot for iOS as I stated in that Nexus 4 video, but it is really good and I've actually grown very, very fond of it. And even since I've kind of made the switch back to Android over the last month, I'm actually enjoying it more than Tweetbot and I think it's just because I've gotten so used to it. So that pretty much covers Falcon Pro, absolutely awesome Twitter client. There's one other thing I want to talk about when we're talking in regards to Twitter and that is called Carbon for Android. This is another Twitter client that I've stumbled onto that is actually really, really good. Uh, it has a few things that I'm not too happy with, but the actual UI of the program is absolutely awesome. It's probably one of the coolest UIs I've seen. It runs really smooth. The scrolling is awesome because there's no stop and you can scroll all the way down. Uh, and it has a bunch of gestures that can be used. If you scroll uh, two fingers down, it'll scroll all the way down to the bottom. If you scroll with two fingers scrolling up, it'll go all the way to the top to your most recent, the most recent tweet. Uh, in your timeline. If you scroll to the right one, it goes into your your ats, any, anybody that has at replied you on Twitter. And if you scroll over to the right one more time, it'll also take you to your DMs, your direct messages. Uh, it's a really cool Twitter client. The only thing that I don't like about it is if you go into the settings portion of Carbon, it only updates every 15 minutes. So you won't see if anybody's at replied you or sent you a DM or anything for 15 minutes. If it's happened right away, if you're talking to somebody through Twitter, it won't notify you for 15 minutes, which I think is a huge downfall, which is the reason why I'm still using Falcon Pro as my uh, default Twitter client at the moment. <laughs> Moving away from that a little bit, if you guys notice here, I am running Novo Launcher over the top of Android's 4.1 Jelly Bean with TouchWiz, the Nature UI for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Uh, it's, it's just a launcher program. It takes over for the standard launcher with TouchWiz on it. You still have access to all of your TouchWiz, TouchWiz applications, but you can customize uh, pretty much everything about the launcher and about your home screen and everything to make it feel more like stock Android. So the way that my Galaxy Note 2 is running right now is more similar to the, the Nexus 4 than it is to the actual stock Note 2. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but... Uh, if you scroll from the home screen, you scroll up, it takes you into your Novo set, your Novo settings, and you can change anything from the desktop, anything in the app drawer, the dock, your folders. You can pretty much customize absolutely everything inside of your device uh, through Novo Launcher. It's absolutely awesome, and that's actually what I'm running over the top. If we go to games, this is another thing that I use quite a bit. I haven't been playing a lot since I've been so busy recently, but a game that has caught my eye, this game is called Vector. Vector is a game where you're pretty much playing like a ninja you're as a ninja running from bad ninjas. Uh, it's doing parkour. I don't know if you guys know what parkour is, but it's basically dudes that can run over walls and up walls and off things. It's actually really cool. It's an extreme thing, but it's also a form of martial arts. Uh, and it's really cool, and that's basically what Vector is. You are a guy uh, running through towns and over buildings and stuff uh, doing parkour. And it's really fun. It's actually a really fun game, and it's super addicting. I've wasted countless 
minutes playing this game when I probably should have been doing other things. I actually fell victim to it earlier today, actually. I was supposed to be shooting this video, and instead I decided to play some Vector. Uh, so it is catchy. Uh, it's a You can get the free version on the Play Store, but there's also a pro version for $1.99. Another thing that I have been using on a daily basis is this thing called Antuck Dictionary. Uh, it's pretty cool. I missed having, like if you had a word or you, you were writing something and you didn't quite remember the spelling of a word or what a word meant uh, from an iPhone, you can just tap on it and say define and it'll pop up a little on screen uh, dictionary. Well, now that you have, when you have Antec Dictionary, you can do that as well. So let's say you're in the browser and you come across a word that you're not quite sure what it is, not that that happens all that often anymore. But let's say that you do. Uh, we'll go on to the Tristech and Electronics website to take a look at this. And we're going to click on a random word. We'll just click on welcome here, since that's the biggest word on there. We're going to copy it. Now when we copy the word and we scroll down and we cl click on Antic Dictionary, it pops up with a little dictionary on screen uh, and it automatically knows that you've copied it and it pulls it into the dictionary and it gives you a bunch of different definitions, a bunch of different places that can define it. Really cool little tweak and application. So that pretty much does it. Those are the biggest ones that I wanted to talk about here uh, for the most part. Another cool thing about Nova Launcher that I didn't really touch on is that you can change the icons for any application on your device. You can go in there, you can download icon packs, you can do pretty much anything you want and change the icons of anything on your device, which is really cool. So that pretty much does it for this video. I hope it was helpful. You guys now know the applications that I'm running on a daily basis on my Note 2. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to the Tris Tech and Electronics channel if you haven't done so yet. We have a whole lot more content coming your way. Edubs has some, some gaming content coming up for you guys here in the next couple days. So definitely keep it locked for that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, favorite, share, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.